chapter 2, verses 21 to 26. If we're there, say amen. amen. Let's all read it. Fear not, all land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field. For the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth her fruit, and the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the sap shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that locusts have eaten, and the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, that has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. May the Lord bless this wonderful scripture and let's all bow our heads. Father in heaven, we come to you. We want to thank you for your words, wonderful words. Oh Lord, give the revelation of knowledge upon you, Lord. Love the, speak, speak to your people, Lord. Anoint the hearers of your word. Anoint the one that will speak to your word, Lord. Let everything that comes into my, uh, the, the sound of my voice come into you, Lord. The spirit, Holy Spirit, rebuke the spirit of error in the name of Jesus. Rebuke every error, error rebuke every spirit that is not from you in the name of Jesus. And all the glory belongs to you alone and none of me, just you alone. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. All saints say amen. 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 Okay, verse 21 is Joel said, Fear not. Everyone say, Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Fear comes. Fear not is when you have a fear, when something going on, a situation coming into our life, there is always fear. And fear does not come from God. Amen. When you have a fear, let's say the doctor diagnosed you with something and you don't like it, you, sometimes you have a fear. And, and but God is saying, fear not, yes. oh man, be yes. glad, rejoice. Yes. So in other words, the, do, 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 the fear, fear is the thing of Satan, and we don't like that. Fear not, but, but God is saying, rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Yes. When, you, when you rejoice, there is what you call restoration. Yes. Everyone say restoration. Yes. We, you, the God will restore everything that, that, that Satan is stole from us as children of God. This is for the children of God. Amen? Amen. The, the, whatever God restore, uh, uh, the, whatever the devil restore, the devil can restore your health. The devil can, uh, the devil can restore your resources, yes. your finances. Yes. The devil will restore your family, yes. the relationship, yes. anything that he wants yes. to, to, to break it. He will break it. But God is a God of restoration. Amen. Hallelujah. He, he, he said that, that uh, and rejoice for the Lord will do great things. So when, when you want the Lord to do great things, we have to rejoice. When there is nothing to rejoice, rejoice. When the situation is worse and you don't see, and you can see the problem, and you can see the storm coming, all we have to do is to rejoice. Be of good cheer. Because good things, Great and mighty things is coming. Amen. That is that is the what that is the key of restoration. When you have the joy of the Lord, when you rejoice, when you are rejoicing, even though you don't see people in the church, you are rejoicing because you know that your name is in the book of the Lamb. Hallelujah. And someone say, Praise the Lord. Verse 22. Be not afraid of ye beasts of the field. For the pastures of the wilderness do spring. Talking about spring, uh, Deacon Smith talked about the spring, the springtime. When you do springtime, it means that, that the blessing is coming, harvest is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. The spring, for the tree bearing their fruit, the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. We, we, the, uh, the, Lord, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. That's what Nehemiah said. Do, do not be more, but, 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 but eat and drink, and the joy of the Lord is our strength. That's where the restoration comes from. It does not matter what the doctors say. It does not matter what the crisis in your life. It does not matter what the situation is. It does not matter if you don't see no money in your hand. It does not matter if there is chaos and broken relationship. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. A big, a great and mighty things is coming in our way. 
thank you, Jesus. Someone say, thank you, Jesus. Verse 23. Be glad in ye children of Zion. We are the children of Zion. Hallelujah. And someone say, hallelujah. We are the children of Zion. And rejoice in the Lord your God. For we have given you the former rain moderately. And he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. The rain here is the overflowing anointing. And someone say amen. It is an anointing coming from him. He will anoint you. He, the, the rain is moderate. You will not lack. There is always fresh anointing from us. Amen. Coming from the Lord. Because he chooses us. We are his people. We are coming from, we are the daughters and son of Zion. Hallelujah. And the floor shall be full with wheat and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. Hallelujah. And I will restore you the years that the locusts had eaten. What are the locusts in our life? And we don't even know there are locusts in our life that's eating. Uh, they are devourers in life. We got devourers in life. And sometimes we are not aware. How come my money is gone? How come my health is diminishing? How come my children are going far away? How come this and this and that? How come this negative, this and negative, this? These are locusts, these are devourers. And he will, he will restore. And many, many years, there are a lot of locusts in our life. Many years, we're not aware. But God, God said, I will restore to you the, the years. That locust had eaten the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, the great army that I sent among you. He, he, there is an army that is battling in the, in the, in the warfare. He, we have the army of God on our side. Amen? Hallelujah. We have the army on our side, the army of God. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And must say satisfied. Satisfied means wholeness. You have the boldness of your soul. It is well, oh my soul. It is well. We have the boldness. Satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God. Had dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. I will not put you into shame. Hallelujah. When you pray to God, Lord, let healing flow upon my body. From the crown of my head to the soul of my feet. And so as other people can hear you. And believers can hear you. He will not put you to shame. He, but healing is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I, when I used to, when I had my daughter before, I, I was an, an unwed mother. And, and my parents said, Lord, you told us you're not going to put us into shame. I was an unwed mother. I had my daughter on my belly. On my belly. And we pray. We pray, we pray. But you know, God, God restore. Yes. God restore. Yes. He makes he, he makes my daughter as a blessing. He restore yes. that he's not gonna put us into shame, whatever that is. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. He's not gonna put us into shame. Yes. Just like he restored Paul. He restored Paul. Paul is, is a murderer of Christian, but he restored Paul to be a great, a great man of God. Amen. He restored the, the woman in the well who has five husbands. And when he restored, he, he came to her and said that, that and, and he said that you have a five husband. After she, he, he, told, he told her that the woman become an evangelist. He restored her. The God is a God of restoration. Amen. He will restore. He is the God of restoration. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to um Proverbs 6. Proverbs 6, verse 30 to 31. Deacon Spencer will read it. Proverbs 6. I have two more two more chapters. Thank you, Lord. And someone say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Everyone say, I choose to have joy. Let's say it. I choose to have joy. I decline fear. I decline worries. Because those fear create stress in our life, worries, and Satan likes that. Amen. Because the faith of Satan is fear. Amen. Proverbs 6, verse 30, 31. Men do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy. 
life is sold when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can someone say hallelujah? Hallelujah. So if, if something missing to you, if something happened to you, something missing, something was stolen by Satan, or, 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 or a, a, a devil used a man to steal something from you, or uh, the devil can use anybody to, uh, to make you discouraged, to, to steal your joy, to steal your whatever, your resources, your finances. Do, it says here that uh, do not despise a thief, because if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I said, thank you, Jesus. Sevenfold. It's not one fold. Whatever he took from you, he will he will give it back to you sevenfold. The God, God will say to Satan, give back sevenfold to my child. Give back that sevenfold to my child. Yeah. He's gonna ask, he's gonna ask the thief, he's gonna ask Satan to give it back sevenfold. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for sevenfold. Everyone said thank you for sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. Hallelujah. That's wonderful it is, you know. He will give back all, all, okay. With the joy of uh, overflowing, so the joy, the joy uh, ignites our faith, amen? It ignites our faith. Joy uh, with this restoration, it ignites our faith. Okay, thank you, Lord. We see joy. Joy comes in the morning. It might be something, uh, something, but joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. Let's go to Habakkuk, uh, Habakkuk 3. Habakkuk 3. Habakkuk 3, chapter 17 to 19. Verse 17 to 19. Chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. Chapter 3. Habakkuk. Chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. Thank you, Jesus. As you can see, even, even, um, okay, um, <laughs> I just thought about it, that persecution. A lot of Christians are, are worried about persecution. Uh, a lot of uh, 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 Facebook friends, they, they sent me like 300 messages. Pray these people, they're being persecuted, they're going to die, they're being persecuted. Pray for these uh, people. Okay, you can pray for them. But persecution you, to those who live a godly life, who want to live a godly life, will be persecuted. Amen? That's why these people are not afraid to die when they're pers being persecuted. Because they know where they're going. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Everyone said, thank you, Lord. What we're waiting, uh, believers are waiting for the rapture. Believers are waiting to be, to be, to be. That's why Paul said, I'd rather die. Because to be, to be absent from the Lord is to be, uh, to be, to be present, to be absent from, from the body is to be present from the Lord. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Okay, Habakkuk chapter 3. Verse 17 to 19, it just says, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be on the vine. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stall. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hind feet, and he will make me walk upon high places. Man. Everyone say, I will rejoice, I will rejoice in, the Lord. in the Lord. I will joy, I will joy in, the God in the God of my salvation. Wow. If you think that something is not answered, if you think that some, some, sometimes you, when you pray and God is not answering your prayer, when the situation is becoming worse, the, the, the instruction of God is, God is rejoice in the Lord. Amen? Amen. Rejoice in the Lord. Always rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Yeah. When everything is not working properly, when everything is, is not working in, in the family, when, when something is not working in the job, when something is not working with your body, when something is not working for any kind of reason, when something with, when our bills is fully is, is fully be there and that are not being paid, when every, the situation is worse, the, the destruction of God is rejoice and have the joy of the Lord. Amen? Amen? And someone say amen. Because the restoration, when there is restoration, we see joy. Amen? 
Joy release the restoration. Just joy. The Lord is my strength, and he will make my feet like high feet, and will make walk upon my high places. Amen. Hallelujah. And someone say, Amen. Hallelujah. Um, so, with the, with the situation, I, I tell you, I, I, right now we claim that whatever, whatever circumstances and issues we have, we don't look at the circumstance. Amen? Thank you, Lord. The key is joy. Rejoice. Thank you, Lord. You're not thanking the situation. Thank you, Lord, because you are doing something great and mighty things. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. You are doing something. I just want to thank you. You're not looking what you feel. You're not looking what, what the doctor said. You're not looking what the situation is all about. But you are just saying that you told me, God, rejoice. So I'm rejoicing, Lord. I'm rejoicing. Great and mighty things is about to happen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And faith is there. And faith takes all what grace makes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Can someone say thank you, Lord? Let's go to Psalm 51, verse 12. Hallelujah. Psalm 51, verse 12. Thank you, Jesus. It says in James 1, verse 2 to 4, Count it all joy when the patient comes to you. Count it all joy. Because your faith is being tested. Amen? Amen. Count it all joy. When temptation comes to you, I'll go for temptation for a minute. When Jesus was full of go of Holy Ghost, Jesus was full of the Holy Ghost. He fasted. The Holy Ghost came to him. He was baptized with the Holy Ghost. Then the devil come and tempt him. The devil come and tempt him, but he he knows the word. He knows the word of God. He knows that he is the beloved son of God. That's why he was not tempted. So when we know the word of God, we will not be tempted. Amen. But David did. David was tempted. Yeah. David uh, got Bathsheba and then killed Moriah. That's why he said in Psalm 51, verse 12, that's what we're going to read now, we can sense. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. That's what the prayer of David now, because he married Bathsheba, he took Bathsheba and killed Uriah. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Amen? Amen. And renew the right spirit within me. Amen. You, the, the, when you when you have done something wrong, when you have something wrong, uh, you you done something sin against the Lord. You don't have the joy. Amen. When there is no word of God, there is no joy. Can someone say amen? amen. There is no word of God. There is no joy. The only thing that you can find a joy when you have the word of God. And that's where restoration coming from. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, so, hallelujah. The joy is our strength. Everyone say, the joy of the Lord is our strength. What do we do now? We just rejoice. Whatever bad situation, rejoice, pray, and give thanks. Amen? Rejoice, pray, and give thanks. Look, look at Peter. Peter was walking in the water. He's focusing on Jesus. He was able to walk in the water. He's able to walk on the water. He's able to walk on the water. Water is straight. He's walking, but he lost his focus. He became doubtful. Amen. Amen. Can someone say doubt is a fear? Say it again. Doubt is a fear, and fear produces stress. And fear produces produces fear. Fear produces negativity. Fear. Uh, will not give you for victory. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So he began to, when Peter began to sing, Jesus took his hand. He said, don't be afraid. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. And we say, be of good cheer. It doesn't matter if somebody died in a family. It doesn't matter if you don't have um, um, no more food in the fridge. If you, you, don't see, you don't see like God is too far away. You, I think now you 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 you're praising more your problem. If you talk more about your problem, you go to the telephone, you go to, to the other people and talk about your problems. You are giving praise. You praise more to your problem instead of saying the Lord uh, instruction is rejoice because when you rejoice, He will restore what you don't have. Amen. Whatever God, uh, whatever the devil stole from you, He will restore it. 
the devil has uh, had had locusts in our life. All of us, all of us. The devil, the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. He had stolen. He had stolen things to us. He had stolen so many things to us. But it says here we have to claim that in Proverbs. That Proverbs, Proverbs saying uh, what Proverbs is that Proverbs six verse thirty says that that I will I will restore sevenfold. He will give you back sevenfold. So everyone say, I have a devil return what you stolen. Sevenfold. Sevenfold. Can you imagine that whatever you stolen is sevenfold? Let's say your 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 piano is gone. It got got stolen. God will return that piano uh, that cost ten grand, just like this. Amen? Yeah. Amen. It will return better, better, because we have a better promise and better covenant. We have an agreement. Amen? We have an agreement. Can someone say amen? Amen. Signed by Jesus Christ. Amen? We have an agreement. So it takes faith to have this. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Now, um, joy takes us all to a place where you can rest. You're not worrying. Because when you worry, when you worry, you're still thinking about your problem. You're not resting. You're not trusting God because you're still worrying. Okay, if you get, if you cast your cares upon him, you rest, you put your pajama and sleep. Lord, I gave it to you. It's your, it's your, I gave it to you, Lord. You are my attorney. You are my attorney. I gave it to you. It's your turn, Lord. It's you. I'm not going to think about what, what the doctors say about me. I'm not going to think about what my mother will say about me. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to think what the court will say about me. I'm not going to think about others will say about me. I'm not going to think about it, Lord, because you're a God. Restoration. Amen? He will restore. He is a God of restoration. Even broken. Oh, even broken relationship. He will restore it. Hallelujah. If you if you have a if you have um I know I got a couple of oh man not man relationship before my husband. I have a couple of relationships before my husband, and they're all no good. And I, I remember my brother punched that neck because he ain't no good. He ain't no good. They're no good. But but the prayer, my mother always prayed. The mother never stopped praying. The father, a mother never stopped praying. They prayed for their children. They did not think about themselves. That's how mom is. My mother keep praying. And, and when God restored, I found my husband. The right one. Amen? The right one. He's going to give you the right one. Hallelujah. Can someone say hallelujah? Hallelujah. So the worries, think, think, think about the worries. The war if you don't have, you're not resting. When you're not resting, God is not going to work. When you're not resting, God, God is not, uh, when you're not resting, God is not going to work because you're working in your own effort. You try to solve your own problem by your effort. You try to think where to get the money. You try to think how to solve this problem. You're not caring. you're not casting your cares upon Him. Though He's not going to work. Amen. If you rest and sleep and you trust Him, He's going to work for you. Amen. Hallelujah. He's going to work for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Well, hallelujah. I have one, one, two, one last verses. Let's go to Jeremiah 33, verse 9 to 11. Hallelujah. Deacon spends. So we don't know what to do now. When the devil tries to steal your joy or anything, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice. You're not rejoicing what the devil did, but rejoicing because God is doing something about it. Amen. God is doing something. He's restoring what God, what the devil is stolen from you. He is restoring. He's a God of restoration. Jeremiah 33. 9 to 11. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth who shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness of and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. And thus saith the Lord again, there shall be heard in this place, which ye say shall be desolate without men and without people. In the cities of Judah, 
there to the city and the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate without man, without inhabitant, and without peace. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of men that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endures forever. And of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord, for I will cause to return into captivity of the land, as at the first, saith the Lord. Do you know Israel said that, that the, the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. It's Israel, not the Egypt. Say, uh, the, uh, uh, let's read verse 11. Everyone say, the voice of joy. The voice of, joy. The voice of gladness. The voice of bridegroom. The voice of the bride. The voice of them. That shall say, praise the Lord of hosts. For the Lord is good. For his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. It's the voice of joy. The voice of gladness. The voice of joy. The voice of gladness. Jesus is victorious. Jesus defeated the enemy. So when you come and, and there is something that you come, there are all, oh, I'm, I'm sad today. I'm sad today. Okay, you said, but you always have the joy. You have to show to, to others that you have the joy of the Lord and your face will be radiant and they can sense that you have God in you. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Say, thank you, Lord. It's the voice of joy, the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, which is Jesus Christ. And the voice of the bride, which that's us. And the voice of them that shall praise the Lord of hosts. Hosts, for the Lord is good and mercy endure forever. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And he said, that, I will cause to return the captivity of the land at the, at, at the first. Say yet, the Lord. So he will never leave you nor forsake you. Can someone say hallelujah? hallelujah. Because, because Jesus Christ was forsaken at the cross. Father God forsaken Jesus Christ. He had forsaken Jesus Christ on the cross so that he will never leave you, nor forsake you, yes. no more. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I will be God to be God and I will be to them my people. That's what the covenant said. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. So don't be thinking that, why me, Lord? Why things happening to me? Why so many bad things happening to me? Why me? Because you are in the world. There is, there is a tribulation in the world. You're still in the world. And the God of this world is Satan. So don't be asking God, why me, Lord? You have to have a problem. Problem is natural. It's normal. Amen? But the instruction of the Lord is rejoice. Be of good cheer. Because great and mighty things is on the way. Amen? But when you, when you, when you, when you go and meet your problem and say, okay, I'm, I'm a loser. Oh, I'm a loser. The doctor told me I'm not gonna live no more. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go and find place to stay. I gotta go look everywhere. I gotta go all over the all over the land and meet. I gotta go to the bucket list because I'm gonna die soon. You lose. Then that's that's defeat. The Lord said, Rejoice! We just say thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Endure it forever. That's why Israelites said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I know that you're doing something good. You're restoring my health from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. You are restoring my wallet. You're going to put some money on my wallet in the name of Jesus. You are restoring whatever God, uh, uh, Satan has stolen from me. You're restoring my relationship. When you're restoring my marriage, you're restoring what, what is a good relationship for me. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You're restoring my family, that we will be come together and love one another, not envying or being jealous to each other. Hallelujah. Can someone say hallelujah? hallelujah. Not bitterness. Not, not backsliding, not, 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 not talking behind their backs. They're probably not talk about being behind their backs. They're waiting for you to be pulled down. They're waiting for you to, to be, to, to go to the hell. They're waiting for you to pull down and be, and be, and be defeated. Some families are like that. They like it when they see you that you're crawling. That you can say, I rejoice you all, Lord, because you are doing something good. Amen? He wants God is love. God is love. 
Amen? He's not going to put you down into trouble. And he will not let you bear a temptation. You cannot make it. Amen? Count it all joy. All the temptation. Because you, your faith is being, uh, is being heard. So rejoice. Pray and give thanks. That's the formula for joy and restoration. Re rejoice. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Everyone say the joy of the Lord is my strength. So don't be cunning like, how are you, sis? How are you, brother? Bless. He's so sad. Joy of the Lord. You're a child of God. You just say, thank you. You're the blessed. Even though you don't see it, you just say, I'm blessed. Because you're going to be blessed. He's not going to lie. You're going to be blessed. Amen? You're already blessed. Ephesians 1 verse 3 says, He has blessed us. He has blessed us in all the spiritual things. And spiritual things came from, uh, material things came from spiritual things. He, we already blessed. The children of God are blessed. Amen? God wants to restore you, but make sure when He restore you that you're not doing something, um, doing something that displeases Him. Because He won't restore you. He's not going to restore you if you're doing something that displeases him. Amen? Yeah. He, wants you, he wants you to learn. He wants, he, he, God give discipline to his children. God give discipline. God restore me too. He had restored me. He restored me. I was caught by the devil, but he restored me. And when he restores you, he's going he's to use you mightily. Amen? I know a pastor who has a son who's on drugs. But he's not looking at his son who's on drugs. He was just lifting him up and saying, God, Lord, you gotta use him. You gotta use him. And I, I, I rebuke whatever spirit that, uh, that is in that young man. And I, I lift him up to you to become a pastor, yeah. to become a minister. Yeah. In a few years, yeah. here we go. He followed the stepping stone of his dad. Yeah. He became a pastor. Because God is the God of restoration. Yeah. Can someone say hallelujah? hallelujah? God is the God of restoration. He won't let you down. When people can, can let you down, all kinds of people can let you down. Any people can let you down. Friend can let you down. A family member can let you down. But God never, never let you down. Amen? It's a simple thing that he wants to ask. Rejoice in the Lord always, not sometimes. Everyone say rejoice in the Lord always. Always with every second, every minute, every every day, every 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 now and then. Rejoice in the Lord always. Even though there is a crisis, a situation coming from, you're still smiling. I know God can can do it. I, I care about I, I, I put all my cares about him. Oh, on him. Well, I curse all my. I put, I give all my cares to him. It, it's in, it's in, it's in his hand, Lord. It's in his hand. And if you're still thinking about it and worried, then you did not, you did not give the cares to him. If you're still worrying about it, you did not give your cares to him. If you give your cares to him, it's in your hand, Lord. It's in your hand. The bills is in your hand. My help. My help is in your hand. Yes, Lord. Whatever it, that situation that you have, that that, that situation that, it's in your hand, Lord. Hallelujah. It's in your hand. Hallelujah. Everyone say, it's in your hand, Lord. Yes, Lord. You cast all your cares upon him. And that's how it is. Yes, Lord. It's so don't be fear. You, you, uh, I'm gonna end here. Second Timothy one verse seven. I'm gonna end with this verse. Second Timothy one verse seven. Can someone say thank you, Lord? Second Timothy one verse seven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. But of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Amen. Amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's why.
why when you sleep at night, when you when you when, when you travel God, you sleep tight. You're not thinking about somebody might come here and steal things. Somebody might come here and, and do something to me. You, God has not given you the spirit of fear. Even the doctor said you're gonna be for one year. God has not given you a spirit of fear. Amen. Even though somebody is trying to tell you, giving you a bad word or uh, words that come against you, you're not. God is not giving you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power. If it's a power, power. You need to get that power. To get that power, you need you need to be born again, get baptized with the Holy Spirit. Amen. I say love and a sound mind. Not a fool, not like you don't know what should happen to you. Like you, you wake up one night, you have somebody else in your bed. Like how did I get here? How did I get here? You have somebody else in the bed. A sound mind, is you know what's happening. Amen. Amen. We have a sober mind and love, loving, walking love every day. Everyone say walking love. Even though they're hard to, to be loved with. You still have to walk in love. Walk in love. You just smile. Even though they, they curse you, they made a curse, they cuff you, they, they, they say something against you, you still walk in love. That's why I love your enemy. Love your neighbor. Amen? You someone say amen. So what do we do? We don't look at the problems no more. You cast your cares upon of, of all your cares. Cast everything that, that your problem is. Don't look at your problem. The, the instruction of God is rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. And someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. You just say, God instruction for us is be of good cheer. You should have tribulation, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. When you say that, it means that you can overcome whatever you have. Amen. You already overcome the world. So be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. You show to others that you have the Spirit of God. You have the Spirit of God. Amen. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that He is Lord. Even the problems. And He is Lord. The sickness, diseases will bow down in His name. That problems will bow down in His name. That mountains that you have will bow down in His name. Amen. Everybody has issues in life. Everybody got issues in life. Listen, you cannot excuse. You're in the world. But every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that he is Lord. Underneath, above, oh, every knee shall bow. Problems will bow down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's all stand. Let's all stand. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to Thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Let's sing it. From the bottom of my heart. Surrender all. Sing it from the bottom of your heart. I surrender all. Oh, to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Let's sing it for the last time. Hallelujah. We don't know what kind of situation we have they have 
I don't know what kind of situation they have and what we, we have situation every day, Lord. We have situation in our life, Lord, but Lord, we're giving all our cares upon you in the name of Jesus. We can't do it without you. We need you, Lord. We need you. We need you to, to settle this matter. We need you in every way, Lord. Every step of the way, we need you. Oh, Lord, I lift up all this situation, the problems that we have, Lord. We're giving it to you, Lord. It's all in your hand, oh, Lord. That healing flows from the crown of your head to the sole of your body. That let healing be done in the name of Jesus. In the, you have done it at the cross, Lord. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You supply all our needs according to your riches and glory. And we want to thank you, Lord Jesus. We want to thank you. Every situation whatever the, the devil is stolen, we ask you, Lord, to ask him to return it back to us sevenfold in the name of Jesus. And we receive that sevenfold right now. We receive the sevenfold, including our good health, including our, our money, including everything that we need in our life. The devil is, is giving it back to us. Even the joy that he stole from us, you're giving it back. Even, even the joy that he stole from us, Satan, I, I, I command you to return it back Sevenfold, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And with that, we want to thank you. We acknowledge you this morning. We want to thank you, Lord, for your anointing. We want to thank you, Lord. Consider it done, Lord. And we, we want to thank you, Lord, because we know that you have answered. You have answered our petition to you. Whatever petition that we have, Lord, you have answered it, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mold us and melt us, Lord, and change our heart, oh, Lord. Change our ways in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You alone, Lord, we, you want us to be perfect. So that when you come, Lord, we are, we are, we are ready to face you. We are ready to face you. We are waiting for that, Lord. We have the joy of the Lord. The joy of our salvation is upon you. Restore unto us. Restore whatever Satan is stole from us. Restore everything that Satan is and restore uh, that Satan um he stole from us. Even the spiritual, even whatever that is that he stole, restore it, Lord, because you are the God of restoration. Hallelujah. We will always have the joy of the Lord. We thank you, Lord. We want to thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, give a purpose to Jesus. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.